Oforiwa Ado lost her husband almost 10 years ago. She confessed the ill treatment she was subjected to by her husband's family left an indelible scar on her. Where I married from is different. They will let you feel the absence of your husband. And they, you know in Ghana or in our part of the world, when a man dies, last year I said it at the widow's conference, is a woman who killed him. Of course. But when a That's woman a dies, it's natural. Yes. Things that you go through, things that they make you to buy, whether you have money or not, they bring you a list as if you are going to marry your hus dead husband. And you'll be surprised to see your fellow women treating you that way. She, however, contends that some tribes are very decent and treat widows with care and support. We have some people who treat widows as doormats, as witches. We have another culture which embraces widows into their homes. Let me be specific. In the north, when you lose a husband, no member of the family will sack you. You remain in that family. If you want to marry in that family, you will do so. If you don't want to marry, they will keep you and the children. And they, they will see to it that your children are brought up just as their father was alive. Widowhood is dreaded by many due to maltreatment and abuse. Yet, like Lily, some few fortunate widows get help in time before they lose their lives in the fight to claim their properties. So the interstate succession law, which is supposed to see to the fair distribution of property in the case of death without a will, has not been very helpful since the customary law does not even recognize that act. Customary uh, things, they don't think about law. So. You can be married by the ordinance that you are entitled to most of your husband's property. But from where I'm married, they don't care. They still take it from oh, you. Oh, what is the law? Is it not paper? They'll tell you it's the paper. And what do you do about it? That's why Mama Zimbi Foundation has taken up. Because had it not been the foundation, I would have been dead nine years ago. The Widows Alliance Network, a foundation working towards sustainable economic development of widows in Ghana, Will this weekend mass up widows from across the country? The group wants injustices faced by widows stopped and support for widows intensified to help build a stronger family system.